green flag waves and we're underway. Yeah, Stewart's might take a look at that as a jump start. Yeah, he drove right down to the inside, so he comes through turn one with a full head of steam. Jeremy Daniel with a nice, comfortable lead as they exit turn one. Jack Polito looking to the inside in two. It's a great start from Polito in that Ford Mustang, formerly campaigned out of the Multimatic Race Shop. So that car won the championship in the GT4 class a year ago. Polito has been coming to grips with it all year. Yeah, and I want to say about about two to three hundred diff, uh, two to three hundred kilograms different in weight to the TCR being a lot lighter, easier on the tires as we see that. The 21 JF Heve make a move on Robain into turn two. Respect from both drivers. Uh, expect to see the TCRs fall off later in the race compared to the GT4 category. We haven't really talked a little bit about the temperature and the heat today as Tomlinson goes to the outside, the 48 and the 84, and Boak just drove it in a ton on the inside of turn number eight. Um, we see the 84 to the inside of, no, that's a defensive move. Sorry, that's Boak staying on the inside. Tomlinson still trying the outside line. Nose to tail as they work their way out of, uh, out of turn five. Up the back straightaway, Tomlinson looking to the left side again. Just needs to get up there just a little bit more over the hump and under the Canadian Tire Bridge. This time he might have position. He can squeeze the 84 down. He doesn't though, as Boak hangs on one more time. Our way into turn three, again, that wide line, late apex, back to throttle early. Tracking out wide, you want to use every inch of the pavement in turn three. You see the 10 up ahead, Jack is not lifting. He is full steam. He wants to win this race. Oh, a big wiggle through turn four. You see the rear of that Mustang get away from him. And he had to catch up with it huge. It put him offline into turn number five. So that's cost him some precious tenths of a second in the final stages of race number 11 for the FEL Sports Car Championship Canada presented by Michelin, the white flag is out. He can make it difficult by making that car as wide as possible as he touches the brake a little bit in turn number four. Polito will drive up to his bumper in turn five. Polito's close, I gotta think the extra horsepower of the GT4 is gonna find its way past. Let's see what happens up to Mario Andretti straightaway. Clean exit on five, that's what Polito needed as he tucks in behind the Audi RS3 of Jeremy Daniel. Will that extra horsepower from the GT4 pay off here as they head to turn number eight? Not quite, he couldn't quite get there, could Polito, but through nine and into 10, and it is still Jeremy Daniel, he's led since the drop of the green, and he'll lead them off of turn number 10. Race winner in race number 11, Jeremy Daniel, and a TCR car wins the overall for the first time. Polito, four tenths of a second back in second. Wow, what a race here in the FEL Sports Car Championship. Can let's not forget about this battle here, Boke, as he works his way through 10. The 48 of Tomlinson still tucked up under the bumper. They cross the stripe. Well, he watched the bumper long enough to Tomlinson. Boke.